a dish with D, that's me. Happy Valentine's Day, or as we're calling it here in Dish with D, Galentine's Day to all my gal pals out there. This video is for you. I will be your Valentine for the day. So we're gonna have a fun little recipe. We're gonna have a giveaway for Galentine's Day, and we're just gonna, you know, maybe talk a little bit later. But first, let's come up with a recipe. And I thought, what can I make for Galentine's Day? On this, this is the spur of the moment. So I decided I had a really good response to the cranberry orange cake that I made last week, the Lynn. But we thought we'll make it into a breakfast bread. How's that sound? Make it a little bit more healthy. We will make it with oats instead of flour. I'm not sure how this is going to be, but we're actually going to use frozen cranberries, fresh cranberries. You could still use these. These will work, but I heard that frozen ones work well too. Since I have them, I'm going to put a few in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the recipe together in the bowl because it's kind of my banana bread, but I am doing, not banana bread, oatmeal bread, Denise. Get this right because we don't have a banana. My bananas there aren't ripe yet. So we're going to use applesauce. It's going to be an applesauce loaf, an applesauce breakfast bread. So think of it that way. Two things that are great for breakfast, apples and oatmeal. I'm game for that. We're going to throw some orange and some cranberry in there. Now, if you don't like orange and cranberry, so about anything that you like. I think this will work with even like canned peaches. It would work with pears. And I have all sorts of little cups of fruit in there. We're going to be having a fun, some fun um, little recipes coming up on the channel using the little cups of peaches and the little cups of pears and kind of incorporating them with different kinds of breads or even cottage buns. So be prepared for that. So we're going to make our oatmeal bread. I keep wanting to say banana. People ask, this is what I use, are these cups? Do I use the whole cup? Sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't, depending on the recipe. I kind of add some of it in and I see how much I need because I like to add an egg to it. So sometimes this whole cup might be too much. So that's when I sit there and say a cup of applesauce, a little serving cup, and this is what I mean. I get the unsweetened, I get it at BJ's. I get them by the case, so you always could use them. But like I said, sometimes when you're mixing it, you can decide how much of it you want like I don't ever want it too wet but that's up to you if you want your sweater go ahead it's your pickle I'm just giving you an idea so let's get started making our Galentine's Day oat bread all right I have my bowl I'm going to add a half a cup of quick oats right in there I'm using a half a cup because I want to be a satiating bread a half a cup is only three points so I'm thinking to myself we're gonna make this a nice filling bread I'm going to put some salt and just a few shakes and some baking powder. About half a teaspoon. Do I want cinnamon? No, I don't. I don't want cinnamon. Because I don't know. Cinnamon and cranberries and orange, I don't know. But if you want cinnamon, go ahead. I'm not I'm not feeling cinnamon. I'm not even sure why I took it out. So, all right, let's get this combined. All right. Now, since I went for the half a cup, I'm going to put the whole cup of this unsweetened applesauce in there. It should be fine. It should be. You know, obviously, I haven't planned this. And I love getting these just to make fun little recipes. Orange extract, just about a quarter of a teaspoon. Now you could put the zest in on. I'm actually not going to do that today because I don't really have any oranges other than these. Shh, don't say anything. <laughs> and I'm gonna use egg whites because that's what I like to use in these recipes. But you know, if you wanna use an egg, feel free. Put two tablespoons of our egg white. My oven is preheated to 375. You can do 350, you can do 400, whatever, you know, oven you want. Let's see. And if you wanted to use um, rolled oats, you probably could. I like using quick oats and breads. I just feel like it gives it more of a flour texture, more than the oat texture, but that's just a personal preference. Okay. 
so well combined. I'm gonna put some frozen cranberries, like I said. You absolutely could use these, just make sure you count them. Now, could you chop these? Sure you can. I'm just gonna put about, there's seven here. And our little mandarins. Do I want all of them? I'm not sure. Let's just put a few in. I think I wanna put a few on the top. Put a few in there, and once they bake, they're going to like give off their juice, so they're going to. So this is like a fruit bread. It costs a fruit bread. But could you add nuts to this? I think that would be fabulous. I think I do have some almonds I need to use up. Now that we say that, let's see if I can find them. Because you know I'm not prepared. All right. I have some of these. I absolutely love the Trader Joe's slivered roasted almonds. And a tablespoon is just one point. Let's see. Well, we have just a tablespoon. And some dust. So there we go. Fruit and nut bread. Could you use pecans? You could use any nuts you want. Walnuts, but I wanted to use these up. This smells delicious. I'm hoping it comes out good because it kind of smells good. So let's grab our little mini loaf pan. Let's spray it with some non-stick spray. Now I'm going to line mine with parchment because last time it did stick a little bit. I don't know if it's from the fruit or what. So I'm going to just cut the bottom piece and put it in there. You don't have to do this. I am trying to make life a little bit easier on myself, just like that. So just line the bottom, and we're going to dump our cake in there for our bread. And try to get it on top of the parchment, not behind it. This is hoping to get so the bottom doesn't stick. Now you could have it where you can just pop it out. That might have been a better idea, but... Oh, you know me. Let's get this. And I had my, like I said, my oven's already on. I'm not sure how long this is going to bake. I'm going to say 20 to 25 minutes. And I definitely will let you know when we come back and take it out. Sorry about that loud noise. Just put that down, pat it down. Make sure it's all even. Smells really good. I can smell that orange extract. I'm going to bake her off and we will come back and I'll let you know how long she baked. You thought I forgot about those oranges, didn't you? I actually did. But before I put it in the oven, so I'm just going to put a few on top. Since we have them, just for decorative purposes, like that. Look at that. There we go. Look how pretty. Now we're going to bake her up. I didn't forget. Well, since I forgot to put this sweetener in, doesn't mean it's a fail. It would just be an unsweetened bread, which is fine. But I'm going to put it with a little amaretto skinny syrup, or this brand is called Da Vinci, which I got on, um, not on Thrive, I got it on Nutrition. I'm going to add that like I did before, because I really enjoyed when it's soaked into the cake or bread. Oh I'm in the middle of Glam Squad, can you tell? So I'm just going to put some in and let it sit in here and absorb it. Okay. So a tablespoon, let that seep in. And I'll add a little bit of sweetness. We're going to let it cool in here a little bit and then we're going to pop it out. Let it cool for about five minutes. I'm going to flip it out. And I'm and I'm hoping she doesn't stick, so I didn't go finish up my glam squad. There. Paper's in there. She popped right out. I'm going to flip her over. Hopefully she won't break. Oh, some of the ones came off. It's a more of a fragile bread. We didn't really put any flour in there. But we're going to let it cool off. Plus we added that syrup in there. But she's pretty and she smells delicious. So... A little cool, then we'll have a little slice. Because 
If she's not good, we're not going to post it. So I'm going to let her cool off. Alrighty, let's taste it's cooled completely. Now, like I said, you could put sweetener in it, but it's a breakfast bread, so I don't want it to taste like cake. That's why I did it with the oats. Oh, I do like that amaretto in there, I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of piece. Oh, I did get a <laughs> I did get a cranberry in that slice. There we go. We got the like I said, if you don't want to add all the oranges, you don't have to. Kind of like oatmeal meets bread. Mm. Now, if you want it sweeter, put the sweetener in. I like it like this. I like adding the skinny syrup on top, but you might want a sweetener if you want a little bit sweet. You don't have to add a lot. A little bit goes a long way. And you have a breakfast bread. So there you go. The Lynn breakfasts cake or bread you choose all righty my galentines it's the next day because that's how my life rolls around here but yes yeah, so happy galentines day so this video is going to have a little bit of a recipe it's going to have a giveaway it's going to have let's talk what are we doing for uh, today's first day of lent and I went to church, got my ashes, and thank God we have Father Steve. Because if I had the other one, uh, my whole forehead would have been an ash. I love you. But it is, you know, Lent reminds us, at least reminds me of, it's like, it's 40 days. It's a nice little clip of time. Six weeks, 40 days to, you know, maybe make some changes in your life. If, you know, we're going to call this a 40-day challenge. So are you in need of some change? Are you in need to fix some things that just aren't going the way you want them to? Now, let's face it. We do these challenges a lot. We do them a lot. How many times do we not complete them? How many times do we just go a couple of weeks and we stop, go a couple of days and we stop? But that's not a reason not to try. You know what? Sometimes you just never know what the right time is. So, yeah, I mean, I'll sit there and tell you, like, I've done many challenges. I don't like the word challenge because it has a beginning, it has an end. I say that all the time. But I think sometimes it gives us something to focus on. And sometimes that's what we need. So, for me, these next 40 days are going to be focusing on, I'm trying, these are my few. Now, I'm just going to be a little, you know, what Lent means to me or what these 40 days mean to me as a Christian. Catholic Christian, they don't have to mean any of these things to you. This is just what it means to us. It's a time of prayer. It is a time of um, fasting. It is a time of almsgiving. I'm not big on the almsgiving part, but you know. But the fasting is very interesting because it's very reflective of the way we live today. And I am, you know, really embracing that this year, the fasting part, because I fast. I mean, our fasting is it's two small meals and one larger meal and that don't equal the large the two small meals shouldn't equal the large the big meal so technically you should have one big meal um and that's what i normally do i normally have like a piece of toast for breakfast with maybe peanut butter or jelly uh maybe lunch will be a salad and dinner will be usually on ash wednesday it's pasta fazole pasta jeech or pasta fagioli um or sometimes on um it could be just fish it depends, but you know, but I'm trying something a little bit different. I don't know how it's going to work. Like I said, I, I don't know. I can't sit there and say it's going to work. I'm trying to just have water or tea and just have dinner. We'll see how it goes. Um, and fasting will be today and every Friday in Lent, the next five weeks and good Friday. Friday, we have to fast, but we, but so I don't have to do it. Um, I'm choosing to try it. It might not work. I may hit one or two o'clock and really need something. So if I need something, I'm going to have it. I'm not going to sit there and be like, well, no, I'm fasting. No, but I want to try it. I want to see how we do. You know, it's something I'm challenging myself to do. Um, but like I said, I'm definitely having water and tea. And we'll see how it goes. And also, um, I'm trying to, you know, purge. 
you know, every day to get rid of at least one item, maybe even more. I'm not saying I'm not going to stop at one. If I see something else that needs to go, it's going in. It's not until the next day. And that's what the father talked about today about, you know, it's a time for service, but it's not service that we need to show. Like, I don't like when people do service and have to post about it. That's not service if you have to brag about it. The things that you do, the charity you do is nobody's business but your own. If you have to boast about it, it ceases to become charity. And he was talking about that tonight. I'm like, I agree. And and nobody needs to know. Like, I don't need you to share anything that you do because it's for your benefit. It's not for anybody else's benefit. So if you want to join me in this 40-day challenge of just trying to eat better, trying to do better, you know, it's it's good to have, I think, goals like that um, and something to, like, challenge yourself. I feel like sometimes I need to step outside of my comfort zone, and I'm trying to do that. I'm also trying to get 10,000 steps a day. I'm trying that. I don't get that. I never did. At my height of my weight loss journey, I never did. I don't think you need to. But I think that's something I have not done and maybe I need to do. I normally, on average, get an av a steps between six and 8,000, pretty much, pretty consistently. I don't close all of my rings on my Apple Watch. I don't know. I mean, I think if I get 10,000, I probably will close. I did up, though, my move goal prior and I lowered my exercise goal, which and my exercise was like it's supposed to be um, 20, 30 minutes a day at a time so I put mine to 20 and I always this way because it's always closed not that I can't do more because I usually do but I like to have it closed it just I'd feel more accomplished so set small doable goals and that is the few things that I'm doing I am trying to eat better eat more consistently not just put something in my mouth and not track it which I do a lot and I've gotten better I will say I have gotten better lately but I need to do even better I do because I still do it even though oh well, that's yeah that's really low in points i'll you know i'll just catch it later no before it goes in my mouth it goes in my tracker i i have to be more accountable for my stuff so that is the things that i'm working on purging as always because i could purge forever and still not be caught up but we're going to purge that's going to help my giveaway because i'm purging a lot of things that i think somebody could use so we're going to have two prizes in this giveaway it's for galentine's day and it will, i will call the winners next um the 21st which will be I'll write this down now will be wisdom day wednesday wisdom so on that video i will show you who won the two prizes the one buys it'll be a box of stuff that i have sitting around here that i don't need but somebody would appreciate it um it's going to have my favorite things in there it's going to have probably a um one of those little loaf pans there's a hungry girl mug that i won and i never used that's been sitting up there waiting to get given away uh, i have a couple um one or two possibly i know there's at least one um Weight Watcher magazines that have really good recipes in there that somebody could enjoy. And so somebody will get all, and I also there's a container of black. I see it right over there. It's like, it's been sitting there for a while, but I just had not gotten around to doing it. Um, a container that I put in from the Dollar Tree. I got one of those little glass containers and I put black cocoa powder in it. They got the Amish bookstore for somebody. So you're going to have my favorite black cocoa powder. So I have all that to give away. So the first winner will get all of my favorite things and things that I'm, that I'm finding that I've had, in, you know, maybe a subscription box that's not getting used. It's going to be put in there as well. And then the second person, when I was doing a collab with Breo, I did a foot massager back, I guess it was in December, I think. Oh my God, I love that foot massager. <gasps> love it. Well, they by accident sent me another neck massager that I did this collab back in the summer. Oh my God, I had massagers coming left and right. They sent me two foot massagers and they sent me this. I gave Tim the other foot massager because it's so much we love it here. So he has that at school. But I thought I would give this beautiful, it is a mini neck massager. It's um, deep tissue. It's really nice. I, like I said, I will link the video that I did the collab with. You can see how easy this is. It feels so good. So some second lucky worker winner will win that. It's never been opened. It's brand new. You charge it and you just strap it around. It's so nice. So I need to get rid of that. It's been sitting here. I need to get rid of it. I don't need it. 
So I'm going to give that away as well. So two lucky Galentines will win that. What do you have to do to be a winner? You have to be subscribed to the channel. That would be helpful. That just is. And you should live in the United States because I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the shipping outside of the United States is, is it's all, you know, I'm already going to have to pay an arm and a leg. It's going to be, so I do apologize to that. I feel really bad saying that, but, and it's hard to ship certain things out of the country. Oh my gosh, you can't. They, it's like, it's ridiculous that we have to go through. So you have to live in the United States and you have to subscribe to the channel and you have to like the video. Oh, know what else I want? I want you to comment if you want to be entered. Um, I was going to say, I, I, my, your favorite recipe of mine. So that will, that will win you one of these prizes. You have to, what's your favorite dish with D recipe? Because I love to hear it. So are you into the challenge? Are you want to win the video? You want to win the prizes? Do you want to make that nice little breakfast loaf that I made? Let me know. Happy Valentine's Day. And it's also a thank you. I'm doing this because I want to thank you. Why am I doing a challenge when I'm already stressed out? Because I want to thank you. Challenging me will help me challenge you. And it makes it easy to do stuff like this. I do like a good challenge. And it's anything that you want to challenge yourself with. I'm not here to decide what you should challenge yourself with. But for me, I'm trying to fast on Fridays. You know, just be more accountable for my food. Nothing's going to change. My food's not changing. I just got to write it to stinking down before I eat it. And I'm not doing that for certain things. I need to do it for everything. I'm trying to purge one item per day. So at the end of this, I will have purged 40 items. Now, you might think that that's not a lot. But for somebody like me, that's a whole lot. It could be more. It doesn't have to be exactly 40. If I be purging something and I'm like, oh, that needs to go too. That's going in the box too. It all counts for at least purge items once a day. So like I'll take the 15, 20 minutes, half an hour to do like this area that I want to work on. Take apart like things in your life that are giving you stress. Like for me, it's this area right here right now. I need to, um, I want to clean up. I want to make this bigger. I want to have this whole entire room for what I want to do. Like I could do glam squad down here. If I had more room, I could do a lot more things. So I feel like I just need to scour that space. So we're going to be working on that. Will I do videos with that? I don't know. I'm not a person that likes to, you know, I don't know. It's If I have to film it, I'm not going to be doing as much work. Do you know what I'm saying? If you have to sit there and film everything, you're not, it's just, it's, it's going to take me too long to do it. So I'd rather just get it done than have to really document it. That's just, that's just me. That's how I, that's how I work. I'm more, I want more to get it done than I really want to brag about it. Like I'm not a person that wants to, sh oh look, that's not me so we'll see um but if you're up to that um let me know in the comment section below if you're in for the challenge as well i would love to hear it so we got lots to do today so we have to film our day in the life which there's not be no food today because <laughs> we're not eating but we'll see if i i have to see if i've if i've made this one recipe if i have already been on the channel there will be no cooking on this video but we'll see so I hope you enjoy this happy video. It was longer than I wanted it to be. So happy Valentine's Day. But thank you. Thank you for being part of the community here at Dish With D. Thank you for giving me a reason to film. Thank you for giving me a purpose. And you have been my purpose. I think we all need a purpose. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have this purpose. And I probably would be 100 pounds heavier again. I would. It's a harsh reality, but I would. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for following along, for being part of. And I know a lot of you sometimes don't like some of the things I have to say, and I get that. Trust me. There's people that I watch that I don't like things they have to say, and thank you for sticking with me. You Nobody has to love everything that you say or like everything that you say. I try to be 100 50,000% myself here. And when you're that way, some people don't like you. But if I was perfect and fabulous, you'd all love me because I would just be, if you wanted me to be the Barbie doll behind the camera and just give you exactly what you want to hear and say all the right things, 
then I would, everybody would love me. And I know that that's not the person I want to be. I want to be me. And when you're, you're authentically yourself, not everybody likes you. Not everybody likes the truth. Not everybody likes the harsh realities. Everybody likes the negative opinions. So people like, not everything is perfect. Not everything in life is great. Sometimes things stink and sometimes you need to call them out. But a lot of people don't like it. And I understand that. And I, like I said, people have left and I totally get it. And it, I'm totally fine with that because if you can't be yourself, if people aren't liking you, you're doing something right. That's what I always say. So thank you for being part of the Dish With D family. It means everything. It does. The fact that you give me a purpose, you give me hope, you give me um, support, you give me I don't know, inspiration to continue and everything that I've done on this channel has come from you. Like I get inspired to make recipes. I get it. You just say the little word and it just sticks in my head and their recipe blooms or a procedure prunes or something blooms that you just didn't realize. And that's all to you. Like I'm nothing without you guys. Really, I can't do this without the support of you. So that means the world to me. And I, tr I try to thank you as much as I can. I know it's never going to be enough, but you give me a platform you give me a reason to film so i thank you for that and thank you for just being the supportive wonderful people that you are and i love each and every one of you and you've all meant so much to me i always say i have the you know i always feel like if you ask me do you have friends i have a couple you know i, I don't really have a lot of friends but i have a lot of friends here and it's like, it's just, it's wonderful. And I never realized how you could get to know people that you've never met, how you could get form friendships with people that you don't know. It's just, it's just incredible. And I, I would be the first one to sit there and be like, that's never good. That's not real. It's real and it happens. And I'm living proof of that. So thank you so much for everything. And I definitely appreciate it. So enter the contest. We got two big prizes giving away next week. I got to clean out my stash and you guys are going to help me clean it out. So thank you so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Ash Wednesday to those who celebrate. Happy Lent and 40 day challenge. It's what we're calling it. The 40 days challenge. You pick what you want to work on. You could pick on the things and piggyback what I'm doing that's perfectly fine I, I'm all for that so that's it for me thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video let me know the big old thumbs up and I will dish with you another day if you are new here you could still enter just make sure you hit that subscribe button join our community here and tell me that you're new I would love to meet all the new people because we've had so many new people every day this channel is growing and it just astounds me it just astounds me so welcome to everyone and I will see you tomorrow